The Filipino Muslims are collectively called Bangsa Moro or a nation of Moro people. Most of them live in the southern part of the Philippines, particularly in the western portion of Mindanao, the Sulu Archipelago, and some part in Palawan. They are composed of 13 ethno-linguistic groups such as Miranao, Magindanao, Iranun, Yakan, Tausug, Sama, Bajau, Jamamapun, Kalagan, Kalibugan, Sangil, Molbog, and Palawanun. Among these groups, the Maranao, the Magindanao, Sama, Tausug, and Yakan are represented in the exhibition Luhul, Landap, Inaul, and Tenun fabrics of strength and protection among the Bangsamoro people. Bangsamoro resisted Spanish colonization, which is a primary factor in preserving and transmitting their culture, arts, and crafts up to the generation. Their textiles are among the most sophisticated textile tradition in the country. Their traditional clothing is handwoven cotton and silk, which are both functional and decorative. They use colors to represent their traits, gold, yellow, and orange for royalty, red for bravery and strength, green for peace and tranquility, white for purity, and black is the favored color among the Marana women for purity and dignity. Yakan of Basilan are known to be among the finest weavers in the Philippines. Tenun is the general term for Yakan woven cloth, and Seputangan is the most intricate design worn by the women around their waist or as a head cloth. Ambalang Ausalin or Apu Ambalang from Yakan community in Lamitan was declared Mandilikha ng Bayan in 2016 for her exceptional skills and mastery of the Lenun or woven Yakan textiles specializing in Seputangan and Sinaluan. Luhur or canopy usually hung from the ceiling as house decoration. This siabit is a traditional cloth worn as a head covering by the Tausuk of Holo, Manilikha ng Bayan, Darhata Sawabi of Parang Sulu, who was an acknowledged expert in weaving peace siabit and was conferred the Manilikha ng Bayan Award in 2004. Her remarkable skill was evident in the evenness of the woven textiles that she made, her faithfulness to traditional design and in her teaching to the younger generation. Malong Landap is a symbol of royalty and value in the Maranao society. It is a tube skirt silk with decorative woven tapestry lankit. Inaul, a traditional woven cloth of the Maguindanao, is made from the pedal loom on which the weaver first arranges the threads to determine the colors, the quantity, and the length of the malo. Inaul is the Maguindanao word for woman. Bangsamoro communities in the southwestern Philippines experienced displacement from their homes, leaving their livelihood behind and relocating in evacuation centers due to armed conflict between the militant Muslims and the military forces. Their situation led the women to revive their weaving tradition to sustain and feed their families. And Mika Muzarin is one of those displaced individuals from Basilan continuing the culture and tradition of Yakan in Zamboanga City.
Ako po si Maika Muzarin. Isa po akong native na Yakan. Dito na po ako ipinanganak sa Yakan Village noong 1978. Uh, napunta po dito yung mga parents namin noong nagsimula yung martial law 1972. Yun po, kaya napadpad sila dito kasi dito sila nag-evacuate noon. Seven years old ako, tinuruan na ako ng nanay ko mag-weave. At saka unang-una na itinuro sa akin yung maliliit na yung coaster, maliliit. Yun talaga nagsisimula yung mga ano, kabataan noon sa mga maliliit na ten noon. Doon talaga. akin paghahabi pa rin kasi unang-una yung sa paghabi, malaking tulong talaga sa amin ito, lalong-lalo na sa aming mga yakan, ito kasi yung pang pangunahing hanap buhay namin dito sa village na to at saka yung paghahabi part na kasi ng tradisyon at kultura namin ako isang anak ma'am na babae opo ituturo ko po yun sa kanya at ipapaliwanag ko rin sa kanya kung gaano kahalaga yung pagwiwib ayun sa kwento ng mga lola namin hindi na kasi namin naabutan mga abaka yung ginagamit nila at saka yung pineapple leaves yun daw yung ginagamit pero sa ngayon, wala na yun. Mga commercial thread na lang yung mga ginagamit namin. Tungkol naman sa mga disenyo namin, walang pagbabago. Yung pa rin, pabalik-balik lang yung mga design namin. At sa ngayon, yung winiwig ko, isa siyang sinaluan textile. At saka yung design niya, biray-biray. Ito yung kadalasan na ginagamit sa mga ginagawang mga damit, yakan costume, at ginagawa rin mga face mask ngayon. Malaki talaga yung epekto ng pandemic sa amin, lalong-lalo na sa kagaya namin na yung paghahabi lang talaga yung inaasahan namin na pagkukunan ng hanap buhay. Mal malaki talaga yung epekto ng pandemic. Hanggang ngayon nga eh, Uh, ka kaunti lang yung mga turista pumunta sa ngayon. At saka kumikita lang kami sa ngayon dahil sa mga online-online. Kung walang online, wala talaga. Walang income. Sa ngayon kasi ma'am, ano eh, iba na yung kabataan ngayon dahil sa mga gadget, gadget ngayon. Iba na kaysa noon. Kaya ngayon dapat yung mga parents, ipaintindi talaga si, sa kanila yung kahalaga ng pag -we Dahil din sa pag -we namin, kaya kami nabubuhay ngayon at may mga income dahil sa pag -we Dapat yun talaga, ipaintindi talaga sa kanila na mahalaga talaga yung pag -we dahil parte na yun ng kultura at tradisyon namin yung pag -ahabi. Pagkawin, ma'am, dapat yung sa pagkawin, gamit pa rin namin yung yakan traditional costume namin kasi halos ngayon, eh, wala, wala na eh. Iba na ngayon eh. Ano, nakiku, nakikiuso na kasi yung mga kabataan. Dapat yun, hindi pa rin mawala. The Mannequin Showcasing the Maranao-inspired costume of Deputy Speaker Loren Legarda is one of the best examples of Bangsamoro textile. The weavers and embroiderers aim to reintroduce their weaving tradition despite the challenges they encounter. For them, weaving plays a vital role in their culture and daily life.